Join me on the hill for an update on weeds and why I really, really, really am loving this hay. See you soon. Hi, it's Amy. Welcome back to Hummingbird Hill and we're actually up on the hill. Uh, as you can perhaps see behind me, there are, well, some chickens and some areas where we're gonna go take a look and see how the hay is doing at suppressing the weeds. I'll also show you some areas where there is not hay, where there are other plants planted, such as trees or blackberries or raspberries that I actually want, not the wild ones that are invading everywhere. And we'll take a look at those. I'm also gonna show you just how things are looking on the hill and it's been a while since we visited the weedy hill right now it is too sunny down in the garden let's see can you see it over there that's down over that way there's the garden over there down there yeah there, there there's the hay shed um right behind that is a garden and it's still in full sun right now it's around six o'clock at night so I'm not going to go out and work there because I will get the sunburn even at this late hour. So we're gonna stay on the shady hill and I'm gonna just give you a little idea of how the weed suppression is going. I also wanted to show you real quick this area up here, which we have been working on since Uncle Phil visited and we are getting things updated. Um, well, it was looking in great shape, except perhaps as you can see, the chickens have been, um, redecorating as they like to do they are right now digging in some areas which is fine for them to dig in over here I've got some hay bales up here that I'm gonna spread around a little more we just had to do some more weed whacking to get things a little bit more in control in this area we haven't dealt with yet this area uh, we need to get some mulch in so I don't know if I'm gonna use bark or if I'm going to use some more hay probably some bark chips because it'll look nice up here except that chickens do scatter them around because they're chickens all right i'm gonna put on my sunglasses so i can see as we walk through because it's a little bright out here and i'll be showing you what's going on hopefully i'll actually get the right thing oh that was a bee the right things in the picture hold on there there you go um oh and we of course have spot and Harley, who are here to make sure that I am behaving myself at all times. Because, you know, someone's got to do the job. All right, let's see here. So we're coming down this way. Let's see what we can see. And we have got um, just some areas where we've started to clear out and do some planting. This is a, let's see right here. This is a Rose of Sharon that I planted last year um, in the fall and it's coming back beautifully. Uh oh, these are some logs. I do love the decomposing logs. I think they look great. They are a place where wasps like to make nests. So we always have to be careful around them because ouch and ouch. You know what I'm saying. Uh, chickens, oh my gosh, look at those girls. Snap and crackle, being all sassy. Let's see, you see those two? Yes, oh, and there's Harley. Um, not sure exactly what this plant is. But it looks like it's going to do something. Let's see here. So we're gonna leave it. Hopefully it's nothing poisonous or something I should pull. But for right now, I'm just gonna leave it and see what it does. Like I said, there's a bunch of stuff up here. I have no idea what it is. So we'll just check it out. Um, this is a tricolored dogwood that I put in last fall here. Ooh, and look, Bleeding Heart. This one is doing beautifully. The chickens haven't managed to murder it yet. The, oh, where'd it go? There it is. No, that's it, right there. Um, haven't managed to murder it yet and it's looking pretty. I just put that one in the chickens would like to help with it Coming down here. Here's where I need to spread some hay, hay bales. This area is kind of all in flux um, Those are my hellebore I planted. Those are some coral bells. I just added in back here Let's see those I planted. I showed you those earlier in like February maybe March uh, there's one of the Roosty Boosties. That's Ace, the punk rock rooster. Um, who was trying to get those hellebore. These are, these palm trees have been here for a while. And they look terribly unhappy. They probably need fertilizer, is my guess. 
but that's not something I really thought about up on the hill. So I'm gonna have to get on that because they look sad. Now over here, oh, my oak leaf hydrangea. I put this in in the fall and I have no idea what's going on with its leaves. If you know what this is, cause it does not look good. They were not doing that and now they're doing that again after, there's not, as I see on the back, like I'm not noticing a bunch of bugs or anything. So this could just be from all the rain but it looks like it's something I obviously need to take care of so this little baby lives. Um, so if you have any ideas, Margie, Christine, I'm talking to you. Uh, if you have any ideas what that might be, let me know please in the comments below because ah, it's not so pretty. Um, right now, looking at the hill, as you can see, there's actually, there are blackberries. I need to get out here with pruners and just like cut those off as I notice them. I haven't done that really yet, but I'll work on it. I've been working in the garden a lot. Well, or not. Mostly it's just been the rain. It's hard to get on the hill when it's so smushy and soggy um, because it's treacherous enough as it is, it's deceptively steep. Um, so I just haven't been coming out here because it's been too wet. In fact, I have my boots on because my sloggers, I slide all over the hill and I fall down and that's awkward and not so comfortable. Um, so it actually is looking pretty decent. I'm really pleased with the hay as far as that goes. There are places where, so over here by this dogwood, I think this is a dogwood, let me look. Um, obviously these blackberry brambles need picked off. Um, what is this? I left the tag on for a reason. Oh, yeah, it's a creme de menthe or creme de menthe dogwood. So I think it's beautiful. Apparently the blackberry vines like it as well. So they want to be friends with it. That needs trimmed. But this whole hill, let's see. Um, let me take you to where the plastic is not helping. I'll show you what the whole hill used to look like last year. Um, and right now I'm looking pretty good. Some of the things that I scattered a whole bunch of wildflower seeds just to see what happened. So I don't know if things like this, I think that's probably a weed, but if it's ground control at the moment, I don't really mind if it's ground cover. Um, like this thistle obviously needs to come out and this, ow, <laughs> should be so much easier to pull as long as I move the hay out of the way a little, ow, pokey. Um, let's see how this goes. Oh yeah, check that out. You see that? That would not have happened without the hay. Um, and the fact that I can get down to a place that doesn't poke me, <laughs> as long as I dig down deep enough before I grab, it's helpful. Um, but this, yeah, super easy. Just drop it, leave it, it'll decompose and uh, be not so bad. So it's one of the reasons why I have the glove on this hand. These are, these are weeds. These are like little buttercup weedy things that I don't really want because they're super invasive. Let's see how these go. Those also might've been wildflowers I planted cause who knows, uh, this area doesn't have as much. Oh, oh yeah, nope. Mm not even close to by the roots. I'm gonna have to get in there with both hands, but I'll get that out. Again, just pull and drop, let it decompose. But the other, this patch I'm gonna leave because it might be something cute or it might help keep other weeds out of the way. We'll see how that goes. Oh my gosh, I have to show you this. Um, yeah, so there are weeds coming up, especially around places where the chickens have scratched a lot. But for the most part, if I can get in here. They're easy to pull most of them out. See this, the chickens got all the way down to the ground, so that one's not gonna come out, but I need to get a little, oh, what's that? That looks like it's a something. I'll leave that and see what happens with it. Probably just a weed, but you never can tell. Or at least, oh, sorry, that's an awkward angle. <laughs> Let me just edit that part out. Uh, you never can tell, or at least I can't tell because like I said, I don't know exactly what was planted on here that was real before I put the hay down. Um, and then I do know what I planted, but I don't actually remember exactly where it was because the chickens kind of dug up all my markers. So let's see how this goes. Yeah, definitely weeds still, but hmm, a decent batch of roots there. 
Just picking, seeing what happens. I already got those. These, probably a weed. I don't know if it's what I want, but we'll see. Again, it's a process, so I don't expect it to be perfect this year, but right now it's so much better than it was in the past. And I haven't seen a ton of extra grasses popping up from the hay. I'm seeing a lot more grass in the bales in the garden. And I think that's because the hay here was about a year older than the hay that I used in the garden. And also because I let this sit outside for about three weeks before I spread it out. Made up in a whole month, three weeks to a month in the fall. So it kind of did its own little self conditioning process. It was super hot inside when I spread it out. Um, and then it's been just kind of sitting here doing its thing. So let's see, oh, blackberry I need to trim. I need to get my clippers out. Ooh, these I thought were gone. Can you see this here? These are acanthus, I'm pretty sure I found them. They come, came up, they're beautiful. I am so excited I did not lose them. The chickens didn't murder them yet. Um, this is a Veronica. I think that's a Veronica. It's one of the, seeds that I scattered last year that actually came up that and the Sweet Williams came up and they're coming up again I'm so excited that um, I didn't know what they were until I bought some Veronica at the store my dad bought some Veronica I was like oh that's what's on the hill and speaking of Veronica being amazing okay oops don't step on the acanthus oops here we go um would you look at that would you look at that giant thing that is the same plant as is here. Yes, you're a chicken. I see you. Um, what is this? It's a little Miss Sunshine something. I didn't know this Veronica was quite so close to it, but there are also some weeds in here. Um, let's see. These little weeds need to come up. Let's get those out. Uh, yeah. And here we got a thistle. Oh spot please don't get yourself killed or me let's see this sucker is big down here let's see if I can get down to somewhere where it's not gonna poke me Ow! Mm. see right around the plants is where they have the best chance of survival because ah oh, that was a pretty good chunk of root I got not all of it like with the last one but that's a pretty good chunk and I only poked myself twice Shoo. see I'm pretty sure all this it could be ground cover, flower, stuff of some sort. I don't know exactly. This area obviously did not have enough hay, so needs some help. Um, just did a little weed whacking here because this was bigger. Patho is helping me. I didn't know he got out already, so I guess I can't share that really bad part. But there's, there's a really bad part down below by the grapevine that I'll take you to see. So... This is kind of what the whole hill looked like last year. Um, I don't know what these big things are. This is big and lush and beautiful and may well be a weed, but it's kind of party, so I'm leaving it and I'm gonna see what happens with it. Why not? Oh, look at the butterfly. Can you see? Let's see. Hopefully you can see that. Look at that beauty. Is that a butterfly or a moth? I can't see if it has fuzzy antenna or not. Is that a swallowtail? Hopefully you can see that baby. Hi, sweet thing. Yes, you can see, look. Look at how beautiful that thing is. These are the sweet Williams that I planted on purpose this year. I bought some extras for mom's party because mine were too small. Yes, I'm talking. Yes, there's the roosty boosty. Look at that butterfly. Oh my goodness. You are such a beauty. Yes, you are. That one does not have fuzzy antenna, so it's... Is that a swallowtail? I think so. Now I have to look it up. Um, oh, look at its body. It's all fuzzy and pretty and striped. Oh, you're gorgeous. So that was... It's still there, it's still being beautiful, but we don't wanna make this too long because otherwise it'll never upload. Oh, I'm gonna walk carefully. So coming here, uh-oh, there it goes. Some coral bells that are getting a little trashed by 
the chickens. Um, this grapevine got moved twice. Well, it got, it got weed whacked twice last year and then I moved it down here and it's actually doing remarkably well for all of that trauma. So that's good. This section here, there are some hardy geraniums in here that are coming back, but this kind of swath right here is actually kind of what the whole hill used to look like. Um, this is right between where the plastic tarp ends and then there was a place where we planted some stuff and you can see there's some stuff planted. It needs mulch. It needs weeded again because there are more thistly, dandelion-y things coming up. Um, and then back here, like you can see where the blackberries, let's see. Yeah, you can see where the blackberries planted right there. That there is a bunch of stuff coming up around the blackberry vine. Now the blackberry vine is doing fine because it's a blackberry vine and they do this. That's actually, I think, a thornless one. It looks like I need to tie it up a little bit more. I haven't really paid attention to the hill for a minute since I've been out in the garden so much. But right now, the areas where the hay is being used as mulch and weed control, I am loving on this side of the hill. Now that's the stuff that I did in the fall. Over here is the stuff that I did in this spring that I put actually the cardboard under and this part has some places where I had some plants that I thought were going to come back from last year and they haven't so there's a bunch of stuff. Um, oh my gosh you can see this poor grapevine needs trained. I just planted it last year and it's doing well but I need to train it. Um, you are such a weed I think. Oh you might not. Are you a weed or are you not a weed? Mm. So hard to tell sometimes. I think it's a weed, but I'll leave it for a minute. Um, so yeah, this is what the grasses all used to look like last year. And obviously this poor grapevine is doing its best. I will get in here and just cut these out by hand. I can probably pull if I'm careful, but I need two hands to pull carefully. So um, I'll do that without the camera in my hand, just so I don't fall over and make a total dunderhead of myself. Up here on the hill, this is where the cardboard is and you can see there's some places where I didn't overlap enough or like things got under. So I'll just pull a little here, get some more. There we go. Um, this is also where there are potatoes planted. And by planted, I mean I just lifted up the hay and threw them under. I don't see any signs of growth yet. Um, but we did have weird weather, so I'm not sure what's going on with that. Oh good, my fig tree is coming back. It kind of went into shock. It, I had it inside over winter because I wasn't sure. I got it in fall on clearance and it produced a fig over winter that got all squishy and didn't actually fruit fully. And then I conditioned it outside. I left it outside for about a week on the porch before I brought it out here, but it dropped all its leaves when I planted it. But look, it's got some baby leaves coming back. I'm so excited. So here we go, and we're awkwardly in the, let's see. Yeah, awkward sun here, which is also quite a bit hotter than the shade. So this area is looking okay. See here, oops, yeah, that's squishy. Watch out, sorry. Um, this, there is supposed to be a plant in here somewhere. And right now this looks like mostly the weed, but I can't tell, let's see. Hold on a second. All right, I pause that. Um, this is two clumps of weeds. They're not the plant. I don't think that plant is coming back. So I might just cover this whole section with cardboard and some more hay because um, as you can see, this has some fungus, which is interesting because the hay on the other end, it had mushrooms in the fall, just like small black ones, but it has had none of these weird ear fungus things. So. Again, just going to leave this to decompose. Bam, drop that there. Um, let's see what else we got here. Yeah, this is mostly just weeds. Unfortunately, I don't think... Oh my gosh, look at that. Wow. That's serious. That, of course, will just add some nice nutrients here when they decompose, so no big deal. This grass needs to come out. 
This is a blackberry vine. Oh, that was easy. Look at that. Oh, I do like this hay. Oh, hi. I cannot see you at all. Hopefully you can see. Um, this is the plant, and it does not look like it's come back at all. It's just... So I wonder if that was... That could have been a, an annual. I didn't purchase that one. I just planted it. I thought it was perennial, but there's there were two of them that are supposed to come up, and I don't see either of them producing anything. So they were likely annuals, and I just made a mistake. But up here, there's actually... Let's come here so I don't fall. This is pretty slippery. Whoo, hello. Ah, okay, we made it. These plants, um, this one, I someone gave to me and it said it was an annual. So I was like, oh, all right, fine. I won't do anything with it. So I left it just kind of sitting out last summer. I didn't plant it because it was the end of summer, blah. But then I went to the store and there was on clearance, two more and they're hot lip salvias. I think it's salvia, yes. And they said perennial, so I was like, So I got those two because they're kind of sassy. And I went ahead and I brought them all here and planted, and lo and behold, they're all coming back. So look at those hot lips. Ow! Those are very festive. Anyway, I'm probably gonna edit some of this so it's a bit shorter. And there's, oh, more things we could talk about. I do wanna show you this other Veronica. This one is growing right up under the edge of the plastic. Look at how serious this thing is. So pretty. And then this thistle keeps coming up with it. But the Veronica's winning. Um, let's see if I can get this guy without hurting myself. The good thing about this one is that, yes, there we go. There's a nice chunk. Not as good as that first one though, sadly. But I just pick them. And I'm, I'm doing my best not to let any flower or get too big or established. I am missing some because it just happens. But overall, it's pretty good. <laughs> I just wanted to bring you out here on the hill and show you how things are going because it's too sunny in the garden, as you saw over here. And I um, also haven't given you an update on how the weed control is going. So far, I'm thrilled. I think I've said that four times, but I keep repeating myself. <sighs> it's one of those days, I tell you. This is exciting. The hay is not producing a lot of extra grass here on the hill. It is keeping so many of the weeds down and the weeds that are here are because chickens have scratched so it's down to bare ground or it's around places where I planted other things and then haven't mulched properly or haven't re-mulched with something this spring. Like I may have mulched in the fall when I first put the mulch down but I haven't come back and re-mulched something I need to be aware of. Again, I've never really in the past been much of a mulcher, so I'm gonna get better at that. <laughs> Hopefully someday I'll get better at something, but I just wanted to thank you so much for joining me here on the actual hill part of Hummingbird Hill. I hope that you enjoyed, look at Harley. Oh, look at those chickens. I s Seriously. Um, I hope that you enjoyed the tour. I hope that you are tour, tour, tour let me just say the word i hope that you enjoyed the tour today of the hill and the weeds and i hope that everything is growing well in your garden i know some of you on the east coast are just getting started and that in the middle of the country things are oh look there's a hummingbird look right on the oh, let's see can you see right there behind the is that the let's see that's a plum tree look there she goes, down to the flowers. All right, sorry. I hope you can see that because right now I just took my glasses off so I can't see a thing because I wanted to see you. I hope that everything is going well in your gardens and I know in the middle of the country things have been crazy and I hope everyone is safe and everyone's families are safe because that's super stressful. Like I said, it's a weird spring. We've had tornadoes before, I know. We've had rain before, I know. But it's still a weird gardening spring. So. Hopefully everything is going well in your garden, you're getting started, things are growing, and you do not have some bug issues like I have. But if you do, hopefully we'll figure it all out together. So please come on back and we can do some more growing, touring, and talking together. Bye. <laughs>